Um, thank you very much, Chair. I'm happy to present this work on prevalence of advanced HIV disease at enrollment in care and associated factors among adult individuals during the treat all era at selected public health centers in Kampala, Uganda. So um, the background to this work, um, despite successes in HIV AIDS care in Uganda, 22,000 individuals died from AIDS related illnesses in 2020. This is a UN AIDS data 2020. So advanced HIV disease is a persistent problem almost over five years after the adoption of WHO's treatment policy. Um, this cross-sectional study that employed both qualitative and quantitative methods was conducted to determine the prevalence of advanced HIV disease and associated factors among the population that I just talked about. So data was collected from 586 participants from April to July 2022 for the quantitative aspect of the study. And uh, we, took, we conducted uh, 15 in-depth interviews for the qualitative aspect. Um, so this slide shows the results. So the prevalence of advanced HIV disease was high at 35%. And uh, we defined advanced HIV disease as a HIV disease where the CD4 cell count is less than 200 cells per microliter or, the, or uh, having WHO clinical stage three or four. And for the quantitat quantitative results, um, the prevalence of advanced HIV disease was 38% higher among males compared to females. And uh, it was also 75% higher among individuals aged 35 years and above compared to those aged 18 to 24. And uh, we also saw the prevalence being 63% um, lower among those who did not report any perceived personal health barriers. And we determined this association using modified postural regression. Sorry. Sorry. Um, just from the qualitative uh, results, uh, feeling healthy, waiting till physical health deteriorated, and use of alternative therap therapies um, significantly contributed to presenting enrolling in care with advanced HIV disease. And uh, our recommendation and conclusion from this is that uh, routine HIV testing should be incentivized and strengthened, especially among men and older individuals. And we also need to modify HIV testing messages to emphasize routine testing, regardless of one's perception of their health status. Thank you so much. <laughs>